Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein. And one thing that I've learned about being a YouTube personality is that on our review channel, people love a good vacuum cleaner video. Doesn't matter how many board games, books, records that I put up on the, uh, the page, our biggest hits and most complaints are about our vacuum cleaner videos. We get a uh, number of vacuums to try out from Amazon Vine. And the last several we've gotten have been from brands that I hadn't heard of that I think are uh, Chinese vacuum cleaners. One was kind of a, recently a knockoff of the uh, Dysart uh, vacuum. But uh, the last few have been smaller vacuums from brands that I really didn't know. But today we got uh, one to show you that we got from Amazon Vine, just to be transparent. We were sent a uh, vacuum cleaner for uh, review purposes. And this is a Bissell. And it is the Surf and Sense Pet. Surf and Sense Pet. Surface Sense Pet. Say that a few times. The 281 Series Bissell Surf and Sense Pet Vacuum. Now, we're actually, for one of the only times in recent memory, uh, without a pet, uh, at the end of the summer, our uh, beloved dog of many years, uh, 16 years, passed away. And uh, there was about a month where we tried to uh, uh, rescue a dog, and that unfortunately didn't uh, work out. So this is actually the first time we don't have a pet in the house. But between having uh, our beloved Mushu for 16 years and even the short period that we had the uh, rescue, uh, named after the, uh, the, what do they call that, uh, the Fort Beach Boom boom uh, game, uh, Zuka, there is still quite a bit of uh, dog hair around, so we'll certainly uh, test it out. And also we live in the desert, so there's always sand somehow getting into the house. So we still got plenty of stuff to try it out. But we don't have nearly as much dog hair as, say, if this had been uh, a year ago. We're hoping either over uh, spring break or summer break to uh, get another dog. But there's still plenty of dog hair around that we'll see how this does. So here you have, uh, looks like some sort of Rottweiler or Doberman type dog here. And this is a picture of the vacuum. Now it came with a bunch of attachments. And one of the things that it came with was an extra, uh, and this is actually a washable. So that's kind of neat too. So the filter is actually uh, washable. So that uh, can probably save uh, some money as time goes by and you need to clean the filter. You can wash it out before you uh, replace it. So it came, uh, it's a pretty big vacuum. You can see here they're... Uh, Wagon or tail. Here's more information. Bissell.com. Showing you that it rotates. It's a big vacuum. I'm going to show you in a minute. It is a, a big one. One thing about those small uh, kind of no-name ones we've been trying out is they've all been very light. That is one thing that has kind of stood out. Also, they've also been uh, rechargeable. This one is going to be plug-in. So you see you got uh, above the floor using your vacuum. Showing you how to wash the filter you see the uh cyclone isn't that a roller coaster the cyclone did i go in that in brooklyn and then you see you got the, the turbo eraser and this is uh something that when you have a lot of dog hair and, and dirt like we do here in the desert this is something that happens a, a lot we had an auric that we've been testing out for about a year and it finally caught up to it with with this all right, so let's take a look at the actual vacuum. So you see right away, it is a, uh, it's a big guy. It is a big vacuum, unlike some of those other ones we've been uh, trying out. You see it uh, swivels around. You'll see it came with a lot of attachments. There's the, the, the pet eraser, the pet hair eraser. Good movie with Schwarzenegger, by the way. Um... Underrated Schwarzenegger film. I always like the scene in, with the, the alligators at the Central Park Zoo. Uh, you see you got a pretty big bucket there for the dirt. We got some buttons. We got the wand release for, I guess, when we're doing flooring. They give you a good amount of cable. But again, that's going to be something 
you know, again, some of the last vacuums we've been looking at have been uh, without a cord, which is great. It's easy to go, you know, up and down the steps, bring it outside to the to the car. So that's one thing that uh, right away we're going to be dealing with, not having to charge a battery, but having to drag a cable around. Let's take a look there. Again, the uh, Surf and Sense technology. Got a pretty big tank. Quick start guide. There we go. So I think we're all set, other than plugging this thing. You see it came with some, some attachments. One of the vacuums we looked at, one of those no-name ones, had attachments that really, it looked like, uh, a Fisher Price toy almost. So this one was nice to see. This is like real attached. This is like a real vacuum. Yeah, big vacuum. So this is just a look at. Uh, we just unboxed this. We just set it up. Came in a big box. In terms of the 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 weight, yeah, it's it's heavy. It's uh, it's got some some weight to it. Probably weighs uh, more than the the kettlebell that I swing in the, the garage. So it's a, definitely a, not a light vacuum. Again, one of the nice things about some of those smaller ones is that they're light. But uh, again, that sort of fake uh, Tyson one that we just did, uh, nice and light, nice and mobile, but didn't have a lot of suction. Let's see what sort of suction this vacuum has. All right, so we're gonna take it for a spin here. So we'll get back to you. So this is a look at the uh, Bissell. This is the Piss, uh, Bissell, Bissell uh, Surf and Sense Pet Vacuum. This is the Shogunstein out.